Spanish Italian Bomb presents the first night of program, a copyrighted feature, Coast to Coast. Theater Time Broadway. Once again, you're invited to attend the opening night performance of a new play in the Little Theater off Times Square. All theater land thrills to those magic words, opening night. It's a supreme moment for the producer. It's the acid test for the author and the actors. They're all wagering their time and talent on their ability to please the public taste for entertainment. Will they succeed tonight? Will this new play be the sensation of the season? Well, there's one thing we do know. We don't want to miss any of the excitement, so let's get underway. Here's my cab. Won't you step in and we'll start for the theater. <laughs> Second Street, beating to the rhythm of commerce in the daytime and to the gaiety of nightlife after sundown, and on just a short distance to the little theater off Times Square. Well, here we are. Have your tickets ready, please. Have your tickets oh, ready, please. Look, is that Mr. Wardrop going in the door? Hey, that's the guy. So cool. Good evening, Mr. Bursnider. The usher will show you the box. Thank you. We'll go right in. title of tonight's play is Three Who Face Death, another original by Addison Simmons. The play is pure fiction, of course, and does not refer to real people or to actual events. In the star parts are Barbara Luddy and Bless Dumain. Mr. Dumain is cast as Paul, a young professor of psychology. Miss Luddy is to play the role of Mary, a young lady whose life is endangered by an unexpected set of circumstances. As usual, there's an all-star cast. And now, here is Eric Segerquist with his famous orchestra, Before First Cut. Get when you're scared stiff. Where is she now? She's parked in front of our house, just on the outside of town. I'm falling from a drugstore. I can see her from here. Yeah? What's your address? Corner Smith and Dean. Right. I'll catch a plane. I'll be up there in half an hour. Okay. That's when you get here. I'm beaten. Okay. Goodbye. take a walk. We both need it, Dad. Psychology books and psychology classes. If I didn't have my walk every night, I'd need to be looked at by a psychologist myself. I must join you more often, Dad. Dad, there's a car in front of the house. A roadster. Hmm. He's in it. Dad, 
That's Mary. No. It is Dad. Come on. Mary. Mary, honey. It is Mary. Mary, Mary, you'll come back home. Mary. Mary, come on. Get out of the car. Mary. Oh, there's something wrong. Mary. What's the matter? Mary. We were inside. Yes. Come on, Lisa. Come in the house. I'm afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, Lisa. Open the door, Dad. Come in, Mary. I'm afraid. But there's nothing to be afraid of. You're home, Mary. In the living room, Paul. Oh. Yes. I've got to get away. Sit down there, dear. That's it. I've got to get away. What's the matter, Mary? Mary? Son, this is amnesia. Mary, listen to me. Do you know who I am? Don't know. Dear, listen. You've had some trouble and you've come home. Everything's going to be all right now. Yes, dear. Paul and I will see that everything's all right. Paul? Son, I think she'd better get some rest first. She looks worn out. All right, then. Come along, Mary. You're going to get some sleep. Sleep? I'm afraid. <laughs> well, if you could only tell us what you're afraid of, Mary. Come on, try. I don't know. Who would that be? You stay with her, Dad. I'll go. All right, son. Now, don't cry, Mary. Good evening. Come in. Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? I want my wife. Your wife? Mary? Yeah, Mary. Where is she? What is it, Paul? Something wrong? Dan, this man says he's Mary's husband. That's what I said. In just a minute. Who are you? I said I'm Mary's husband. Isn't that good enough? Dad, I know who this man is. Oh, yeah? Dad, take a good look at him. He's that gangster. You've seen his picture in the paper any number of times. Why? Yes. Madden. That's right. Now, where's my wife? Madden, I don't believe Mary's your wife. And you're not going to see her. I tell you, she is my wife, and I want to see her right now. Mr. Madden, let me tell you something about Mary. She was born and raised in this town. She was an orphan, and I raised her here in this house, a member of my own family. So what? Mr. Madden, Mary loved my son. This is my son. Yes. She went away to the city for a singing career. When she had enough of it, she was coming home to marry my son. Oh, don't bother to tell him that. Just a minute, Paul. Madden, Mary didn't go to the city to mingle with such as you, let alone marry you. Listen, white whiskers. In my day, I smacked down plenty of guys for talking back to me. Yes. And we know just how you smack them down. With a gun. You better look out how you talk. Nobody ever proved I used a gun on anybody. We know all about that, too. You've been tried for murder three times, but you shake off a murder charge like a duck shakes off water. <laughs> you know all about me, don't you? All I want to know. Dad, phone for the police. I'll see that he stays where he is. <laughs> yes. Well, now, ain't he the brave boy, though? Listen, White Whiskers. Before I came in here, I cut your telephone wires. So don't bother trying to telephone. Madden, this will get you exactly nothing. Yes. Mary. Mary, get back in there. Uh, I'm afraid alone. Yeah, well, you don't have to be afraid anymore, Mary. I've come to take you back home. Home? Who are you? Now, Mary, don't tell me you don't know your little Danny, Mary. Mary? Ah, you see, poor kid. She's sick talking like that. She's sick, all right. 
And unless I'm mistaken, you know what she's sick about. Yeah? What does that crack mean? Suppose you tell me. All right, smart guy. Maybe I will tell you. I thought you could. Mary, please go back in there and close the door. Mm. Mm. Okay, gents. You want it? So you'll get it. Mary's got a good reason for being like she is. You know why? Why? Because she croaked a guy. That's why. And she got this way from the shock of it. I don't believe it. Nor do I. No, of course you don't. But I'm a guy that knows. Madden, none of these lies will get you anything. Mary is not leaving here. Is that so? Well, okay. And I'm not leaving either, see? She's my wife. And if she stays, I stay. Get it? The curtain comes down in the first act. Tonight's play in the Little Theater off Times Square. Smoking in the outer lobby or downstairs, please. Let me ask this question. Would you be surprised to know that Campana has spent over $600,000 exclusive of advertising in the last five or six years for the sole purpose of educating women on how to use Italian bomb correctly? Perhaps you'll say why that sounds silly. All you do is put Italian bomb on your face and hands, just like any other lotion. Well, the truth is you don't use Italian bomb just like any other lotion. Italian bomb is rich, full body, and just a little goes a long, long way. Too much for application does not give satisfactory results. That's why Campana invented the dispenser idea, now in use in over three million homes, because the Italian bomb dispenser gives you just one drop at a time. That's why each Italian bomb carton says, use sparingly. This product spreads widely. And let me say this to you. We know that Italian bomb is a definitely superior preparation. It contains the costliest ingredients to be found in any of the largest selling brands. Yet its cost to use is so small because it goes so far that you can't find any greater economy in any lotion. Right now you can get the famous Italian bomb dispenser at your drug or department store in a special package containing a 60 cent bottle of Italian bomb and the dispenser. Here is the ideal and convenient way to use this soothing skin softener. It lets down exactly the right amount for an application to both hands. And the 60 cent bottle contains Nearly 500 dispenser applications. Save money. Ask for the dispenser package tomorrow. Mary, come here. Get up. 
on in the second act of tonight's play in the Little Theater of Times Square. Smoking downstairs or in the outer lobby, please. Now then, let's talk over something important. I'm authorized by Campana to make a startling offer tonight to every woman in this coast-to-coast -coast audience. Listen carefully, please, for here's the sensational news. Campana wants to give you, absolutely free, a full 20-cent jar of their amazing facial cleansing pads, Dress Skin Cooling. You get this jar without one penny of cost. It's a gift. This is Campana's way of allowing you to judge for yourself how convenient coolies are. Why so many women call coolies the greatest advance in face cleansing methods in years. Coolies, you know, are soft, round discs of cloth saturated with dress skin. They're quick, convenient, and sanitary. Each pad gives you a complete 60-second facial, removing dirt, shiny oil, makeup, leaving your skin perfectly prepared for fresh makeup. Coolies are ideal for use on the go, traveling, shopping, dancing. And for home use, to remove makeup before going to bed, you'll find them a real blessing. To get your free 20-cent jar of coolies, ask tomorrow at your drug or department store for the 35-cent Italian Bomb Coolies Combination Package. You get the 35-cent bottle of Italian Bomb at no increase in price, plus the free 20-cent jar of coolies. Both products for the price of the Italian Bomb alone. Get this bargain now while it's available. Yes, 
I do. I know what we'll do with him. What? We'll finish Mr. Madden. Paul, you can't kill him. I'm not going to kill him. He's going to do it all himself. Give me a hand with him, Dad. I want to sit him up in this armchair. What is it, son? What are you going to do? I'm going to manufacture a little justice. Listen, come on, help me. Sit there, Mr. Madden, and make yourself comfortable. What are you going to do? You'll see. Mary, turn off the light. Yes, Paul. Now we'll just swing the chair around so that Mr. Madden faces the candlelight. There, that's better. Son, you can't hypnotize this man. You'll see. Paul, you know you can't hypnotize an unwilling subject. I can if I catch him in a moment when his will is dull. But how? When he begins to come to, that's the chance. If I can put him under quickly, he'll have no will to resist. Uh, he's coming out of it, Paul. Quiet now. Don't speak a word. I've got to work fast. Madden. Madden. Uh, open your eyes, Madden. That's it. Don't move. Stay just as you are. Madden, there's a light straight ahead of you. Candlelight. That's it. Look at it. Keep looking. Keep looking. Madden, you're going back to sleep. You're going back to sleep at once. The light. The candlelight, Madden. Keep looking. Keep looking. Sleep, Madden. Close your eyes. You're going to sleep. Uptown Supper Club, remember that daylight saving time becomes effective day after tomorrow. 
Therefore, next Friday, if your community does not have daylight time, tune in first nighter one hour earlier than tonight. If your community does observe daylight savings, then tune in at the usual hour. And now we move out of the theater and into the street. Here's your cab, Mr. First Nighter. Thank you. Good night.